Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna do a versus video between the 12 volt Hilti hacksaw versus the Milwaukee brushless fuel 12 volt hacksaw. This is one that a lot of people are waiting for and both of these are pretty much brand new tools right now. Uh, some people have been asking this actually for uh, BC construction to do. I already have the tools, so I'm like, you know what? Let's do a versus video. So let's check these out. So as you can see, when it comes to the tool, they pretty much are almost the same size, the, all the way around. Uh, for some reason, when it comes to the Milwaukee, instead of using their traditional uh, matte finished grip, they actually have a gloss on, on this tool. So I do not know why that they went in that direction. All right, so the Milwaukee, this is model number uh, 2520-20, uh, zero to 3,000 strokes per minute. Uh, the stroke length, it does not say, but I'll put that in right now. 12 volt system. And the Hilti, probably the same thing, yep, uh, zero to 3,000 strokes per minute. And like I said in previous videos, 3,000 is pretty much the standard because any more than that, let's say you go to four to 5,000, the tool will vibrate. So 3,000 is pretty much almost the limit on what you can do with the tool being able to stay in your hand comfortably. So for the Milwaukee, we're gonna use a two amp hour battery and a four amp hour battery. And for the Hilti, we're gonna use a 2.6, 2.6 and a four amp hour battery. So. Yes, when it comes to the 2.6 versus the 2.0, I just want to see what this tool does uh, when it comes to the regular cylinder battery. Then we're going to do an uh, even match between 4 and 4. So, yeah, the Hill tool will have a 0.6 advantage over the 2.0 for the beginning uh, in the beginning of the test, but then it'll be evenly matched when it comes to the 4 versus 4. We will be using two brand new uh, blades per tool. We're going to use Milwaukee, uh, the axe, uh, wood and nails. And so, yes, uh, this is a uh, uh, five teeth per inch, six inch blade. Same thing with this, five teeth per inch, six inch blade, both are the same. And so, yes, we're going to have a, a good time with these today. Remember, every time you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. I got, <laughs> I got Milwaukee gloves. And Hilti safety glasses. Right, so first we're going to use the, we'll, we'll actually use the Hilti first today. Alright, so we have a 2.6 amp hour battery. Battery is full. Battery is full. And remember, we are in the uh, beginning of the test. We are going to use the cylinder 2.0. Because I want to see what the cylinder does. Compa and we're going to also compare that to the the bigger uh, M12 batteries. Now when it comes to sound, the Milwaukee vibrates a little bit more. And it also does sound beefier. I'm not gonna, uh, it does sound beefier. And there's an immediate startup with the Milwaukee and the Hilti has a little delay. So we'll see what happens. The Hilti first. We got a brand new uh, six-inch blade. Easy and inst easy uh, installment. Now the shoe is not an articulating shoe. It does not pivot. All right, so we're gonna start off right here. There is a little dent right here uh, that ends about right here. So we're gonna start right here. All right, so ready, go. Very, very good. The two amp hour battery, battery is full. Now when it comes to this, I honestly think the Milwaukee's gonna win. Ease the insulation. All right, so we are ready. All right, so ready, go. And 
I do not know the re what the results are. I find out the results during the edit of the video. Uh, battery is still battery still full. So ready, go. Not bad for a 12 volt, not bad at all. All right, so it is uh, Milwaukee's turn. Battery is still full. So ready, go. Time. All right, so now what we are gonna do is the last test with these batteries, we're gonna switch up to the four after this. We're going to cut two cuts in a row. All right, so ready, go. Milwaukee's turn. We're going to do two cuts in a row. Alright, so ready, go. We are going to do one more, one more test. I'm going to put a lot of pressure, the amount of pressure I could put on with one hand. I'm going to go full force on both of these with one hand. All right, so ready, go. Put everything back. All right, so ready, go. Time. All righty. Got the four amp hour on the Milwaukee. And the 4 amp hour on the Hilti. Battery is full. Alright, so we're going to do one cut with a 2x4. Then move on to a 4x4. Alright, so ready? Go. Time. Alright, so... Ready, go. Time. And uh, sorry, the battery is full on the Milwaukee's uh, 4 amp hour. Both of these tools are seriously bad mamma jammas. Like, look at those. They, they are both gorgeous. Alrighty, let's switch over to a 4x4. Alrighty, we are going to do the Hilti first. Ready? Go.
That did not cut straight by any means. All right, it is uh, Milwaukee's turn. Battery is full. All right, so ready, go. I don't know, but that just seems like seemed like it went a bit slower. But we are going to do uncut with one hand with all the pressure that I can. You know what? I'm just gonna take these off. Alright, so ready? Go. Oh, the teeth are looks to still look pretty good on both uh, blades. We're only cutting wood. Ready? Go. So, what we are going to do now is we are going to do full force, two hands, see which one could prevail. Ready? Go. Cut off. This cut off. All right, so you guys know the rule. Uh, it's 12 volt. Yeah, it's this is not like uh, this is not like the drills and impacts. Uh, Hilti failed on that test. It cut off. We are gonna finish this though. Uh, Hilti failed at this test. Alrighty, sorry Hilti, that one failed. Alright, so time for uh, Milwaukee's. Alright, so ready, go.
Oh, that motor smells. Is that burning? I don't think so. But as you can see, it uh, cutting that way does not cut it straight at all. That is a major, major angle. All right, let's check out the battery status. Battery on the Hilti's three bars. Battery on the Milwaukee is two bars. All right, and so let's see which one of these ran cooler. The Milwaukee ran 93 degrees, and the Hilti ran 84 degrees. Now both of these did exceptionally well for a 12 volt system. Now uh, when it comes to deciding which one to get, it all depends on which battery system you're at. And when it comes to the battery system, I will always recommend a Milwaukee because Milwaukee has a huge variety of M12 tools with uh, 1.5, 2 amp hour, 3 amp hour, 4 amp hour, and 6 amp hour batteries. So you have a much bigger variety of batteries as well. But just based on the battery system, I'd go with Milwaukee because Hilti has like about five or six uh, 12 volt tools when Milwaukee has like a hundred and something or around that area. But I do not know what the results are. The results are, are found out while I edit the video. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a little versus video between these. Both of these tools are fantastic. They're both high grade. You know, Milwaukee came a long way from when they first started, you know, just like Hilti did. All companies are expanding and getting their tools better, more efficient, and more powerful. So please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.